Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be showing you our new Luminous Native Transitions for Premiere Pro. These beautiful light transition effects come in five customizable styles, and we'll show you how you can use them in your own projects to hopefully make something that looks like this. If you guys need help downloading and installing these transitions, we actually have a tutorial all about that, and I'll link to it in case you need to use it. In this tutorial, I want to quickly go over each of the different luminous transitions we have and how to use them in some unique ways. When you've downloaded these transitions, you should be able to find them within your effects panel, underneath Video Transitions. And under the MA Luminous folder, you can see that there's five transitions inside. Bokeh, Flare, Light Leaks, Light Streaks, and Light Trail. Applying these are all done exactly the same way. Just simply drag and drop them to the beginning or the end of your clips, or in between two clips to transition in between them. That's all it takes. Really fast, easy, and it looks great immediately. We hope that these really help you to be able to save time and work faster creating your videos. But it doesn't end there. It's important to remember that you don't just have one version of each of these five transitions. Each of these actually has five unique iterations each that you can switch between. So, to adjust those, simply highlight your transition and go up to Effect Controls. Here you should see a bunch of different aspects of the transition that you can edit, including the version number. Let's switch our bokeh transition here from version 1 to version 2. And we can see that this effect has a similar impact, but it's entirely unique. But we can go a lot deeper than just choosing a new type. Within Effect Controls here, we can also control a few different traditional aspects of this transition like position, X and Y scale, angle, and even flip the transition orientation vertically or horizontally. But there's a few other things here that I'm personally more excited about. Probably the most interesting for me is the hue control. Basically, you can see right off the bat here that this version of the bokeh transition has some green and yellow coloration. But this hue control lets you rotate the theoretical color wheel to change up the colors appearing within the bokeh. So we can make it look more blue, more purple, red, orange. Really, we have a high degree of control. And once you've detailed the color that you want to see, we can also increase or decrease the saturation, as well as the overall lightness of this effect. And the final parameter I want to touch on here is the Blend Mode. By default, it's set to Screen. But you also have a different Blend Mode called Additive. These will each give you slightly different results, with Additive being a little bit more intense and Screen being a little bit more true to life. To get a detailed description of what each of these Blend Modes does, I'll link to the full article on using these transitions over at MotionArray.com. But here's another interesting thing that you might not realize you can do. These transitions can be used as transitions, but they can also simply be used as basic effects. Let me show you what I mean. Let's try and make a cut right in the middle of one of our pieces of footage, so that there's a cut present, but it's not actually switching to another piece of footage, and there's no noticeable change taking place. Now let's take the light leaks as an example, and drop it into place. Now what we get is that the footage itself is acting normal, but we have a light leak present right over top of it. Cool, right? Guys, that was just a brief overview of how to use our new Luminous plugin transitions from Motion Array. If you already have a paid Motion Array subscription, these don't cost anything extra on top of your subscription. Just our way of trying to add as much value as possible. Even if you're on a free account, you can demo them first, like any of our plugins, to make sure that they're the right fit for you. The demo will have an X over top of it, but you'll have an opportunity to give them a test drive before jumping into a membership. And we really hope that a quick drag and drop solution like this can really help to speed up your workflow. But guys, that's it for me. If you wanted to check out more of our plugins, you can find all of them right here at motionarray.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.